Yo, what's up? EDM drums, they can be super punchy, sometimes dull, especially in Tech House, for example. In the more commercial kind of radio tracks, they are yeah, mostly more present and more punchy. And yeah, there are specific ways uh, you can shape drums and specific needs for different tracks. So in this video, I want to go over a couple of ways to make your drums pop more or pop less and sound less bright and stuff so to dirty them up or to make them pop that's really the video let's take a listen to the drums here in the track and in Zolo let's go So these drums are super bright, super crisp and punchy already. So let's say that this drum sound needs to be dirtier. Then a couple of things you could do. You could use EQ, but there, yeah, I, I won't really use EQ because I think there is more powerful ways in this situation. And then I would say to go for the ozone exciter. Why? you can really dirty up your sound because it creates harmonics in a way that the sound gets way more fat and you know less clean sounding. So let's take a listen how the Ozone Exciter really can beef up these drums. So by creating harmonics in the mid area of the track you really can tell that the drums are sounding less clean and more dirty. So instead of decreasing the brightness you can also increase the, the dirt and the you know, rawness of a sound by creating harmonics. This way the high end is still intact and it's more natural sounding effect instead of just dropping some weird EQ moves on the track. So I think this yields extremely amazing results. The standard clip is another plugin and it has insane saturation, especially for drums. I really, really use it a lot, but it tends to keep the sound more real and it sounds less dirty. If you're after more harmonics and some clipping, then let me demonstrate what this does to your drums. So yeah, amazing sounding plugin. If you are after a more type of, you know, ghost saturation, a saturation that definitely adds harmonics, but isn't super apparently changing the sound, then Standard Clip is a sniper tool because it really can get your RMS value way up uh, while still sounding really authentic towards the original signal which is super dope and standard clip definitely if you need a clipping plugin buy the standard clip it's amazing then another way to go about this is with transient shaping a couple things you could do you could just shape the overall sound let's try that first So 
So yeah, then it really, really makes the sound even more punchy and it's dope. But you can also use it as a some sort of de type of dynamic reduction on the punchy area of the drums. And let me show you how you can make the drums more dull and more and less punchy sounding if you, for example, want more space for the vocals that are super bright or a super bright melody line. Let me demonstrate. Great way, right? It's really, really a way to still sound original and still sound dope without, you know, using a lot of EQ because EQ is one of the most powerful ways to achieve a certain tone. But if you want to shape a sound or if you want to optimize things, then harmonics and transition shaping are really, really powerful. Um, and as always, there's many different ways to go about things, be intentional and yeah, I just wanted to show you these couple of techniques because drum processing can be tricky, you know, and it can be a difficult subject to find good videos about. And my five cents on it really is to be strategical, be intentional, have a vision for your drums and realize that there's different type of tracks, different types of puzzles to be solved. If you have a super uh, dull sounding overall track and your drums are super bright and punchy, then they are really taking that position in the mix. But if you have a really big powerful pop vocal on the Tech House tune, then I would definitely say make that the star of the show and go for somewhat more dull sounding drums and um, this way every element really can take its fullest potential in the mix. If this video brought you any value, you know what to do. If you need any EDM mixing or mastering, hit the link down below. For plugins and gear, hit the links below as well. And I really thank you for watching. I'm super pumped to make these videos for you. And I'm hyped to see that we're slowly but surely growing here on YouTube. So thank you so much for that. See you in the next one. Goodbye.